Here's an example of uh, generating AM modulation with a AD633 uh, analog multiplier. So this is the output. It's the uh, music amplitude modulated on top of about a 600 kilohertz carrier. Uh, I'm generating the carrier with my old uh, HP function generator. And this is the circuit. Uh, it's hard to see here on the breadboard. But basically, it's just the uh, AD633 chip, and I'm feeding in the carrier, and then the music's coming in directly off the headphone jack from an old iPod. Um, the amplitude uh, from the iPod is really not large enough to fully uh, uh, modulate the signal, but it's enough that you can hear what's going on. So the output signal's on this uh, green wire, and that is just coupled into this radio by placing another wire uh, close to that. So it's not connected, it's just it's roughly coupled. And uh, so that's it. I'll, uh, I'll show the schematic and uh, how it works here in a second. Okay, so uh, here's the circuit, uh, basically. The 8633 has got uh, a multiplier and an adder. And uh, what's going on is the modulation, which is the sound from the iPod, goes into one side of the multiplier. And then the carrier signal goes into the other side. Now, if you didn't have this feed forward bit at the bottom of the circuit, you would have no carrier when you had uh, silence on your audio. And uh, the other reason you need the uh, carrier added in is because when you demodulate, most uh, AM radios actually use that carrier to mix back with the sidebands to give you the audio again. And I'll show that in a second when we go to the uh, frequency domain picture of what's going on. So in the frequency domain, the way to look at this is that when you multiply uh, the audio signal with an RF carrier, that is a, a sine function times a sine function. And if you go back and look at your trig identities or just express things in terms of a complex exponential, you're getting a sum and difference. And so what that works out being is the lower sideband, which is the difference, and the upper sideband, which is the sum. Now that feed forward bit that brings the carrier back in, that reinserts the carrier. So what you're really transmitting is you're transmitting a carrier that's unmodulated as well as the upper and lower sidebands. And then in a typical radio, uh, uh, an AM radio, what's happening is is that carrier is mixed with the upper and lower sidebands and everything gets shifted back down to the audio spectrum. So you need to send the carrier along with your modulated audio so that a simple radio can demodulate uh, what it's receiving. So in a more complicated radio, like a, uh, let's say a ham radio, for example, you might only transmit the upper sideband and not transmit the carrier and not transmit the lower sideband. And uh, what that does is, is that puts all of your transmitted power into just the data you want to send, because there's really no reason to send both the upper sideband and lower sideband. And if you generate the carrier locally, then the receiver can generate that and mix it with the upper sideband. And this is more efficient in terms of power usage, but it requires a more complicated radio.